Okay. There we go. So all we're going to do is open the box up. We're going to reach in. There's that funny little box in the middle. You take that. What we'll do is just lift up gently on the back end of the box and tilt it forward. There we go. Okay. Now as we're doing this, kind of shimmy the plastic cover down. Okay. Roll it down like that. Now, I need those pins. There's a set of pins inside that bag. Okay. He doesn't do that enough. Our thumb screws, we're going to use those to bolt the engine to the cabinet. Okay. Yeah, action. I'm gonna take off the straps. There's a TCU in front. That's why we don't like people lifting up the whole box because they could drop the TCU. And Russ, if you want two of the corner posts over here, We'll get those out of the way, otherwise they fall down and you look silly, like kind of wiggle and lift and watch out for the fancy cameras and displays. And if you want to walk away with that, stuff that fell down. The installation guide, the CD, and the turnaround guide. Because all I'm going to do is drop the bag down. I'm going to show the handle. Show how it reaches inside like that. Once again. Okay. Gonna work my way down from the top as I did before. Especially me and Luke's that feeder. We're going to take out the two trays. Show the thumb screw. Okay. Let's take that guy. Let's take that guy. Okay. I think that. So how about if we just do something like this? Yeah. Okay. He 
take those things. Thank you. Open the door. Grab a hold of this one. I'm going to pull. That's pretty apparent? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to grab a hold of this one. I'm going to pull. Okay. And this one, I'm going to grab a hold of I'm going to pull straight out. Okay. Next thing will be toner, toner cartridge installation. But you got to get rid of these two seals. Okay. This one pulls down that. Yep. And this one pulls out like that. Sure. Yep. All right. Now what we're going to do, shake the cartridge, install the cartridge, and rotate. out of the way. Okay, we're just going to take the drum unit or the imaging unit as it's known out of the styrofoam packaging. Set it down like that for the moment. you'll see the three numbers here. One, two, three. Okay. I'm just going to snap them in that order. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Of course, when you do that, the big old drum's exposed. So what you do is you turn it over, and there's a handle right here. There's another support right here. Okay. We're going to bring it in here. We're going to talk about these. Okay. Should I go ahead and slip it in? Okay. Hold it down. Use a thumb screw. I'm going to bring the TCU into the picture. I'll put it down here like this. Push firmly on both sides. Close that. Can I reach over and close the right door? Sure. Okay. So we're going to explain the attachment hardware that's involved. Point out is the big attachment rail. Right there. And this is the attachment alignment pin right here. This is an alignment pin on the side of the HCI. And these are attachment brackets for the side of the engine. This this is a paper guide that we're going to attach to an opening on the side of the engine. Okay. All right. Okay. Take out that foam tray with all those pieces that we just defined and just lift it out of the way. Russ, if you can join me. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to just tilt the whole thing, kind of work the bag back. Okay. So. Okay.
open this up and I'm going to start reaching in the foam here. down on the tray. Okay. So what we need to do is move two sets of guides. This is a dummy guide. This is in the A4 position. We move this to this and it'll put it in the letter position. And the same thing over here, from here to here. But each of these front and rear guides need to be changed as well. Okay? Looking to there's one because I'm in the right orientation. This one I'm going to get like that. Okay? And you can tell it's a, see the letter in A4 designations. It's in the A4 position. I'm just going to take out that screw lift the guide up, but there's a corresponding slots in the bottom that I have to locate as well. Do this one. So if I take this screw out, and if I take out the guide, I can show you that there are a couple of tabs. Well, they have to find slots in the bottom. So if I push way down here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it to the letter slots right there and there and the letter slots on top and just let it come back up put the screw back in. So since we showed that we don't need to show that for the out the guide. This is easy. Push it all the way down. Find the letter location. Let it come up. And the front and rear guides are now adjusted to the letter. So what we're going to do is remove these two dummy guides from the letter location and take these guides that are now in the A4 position and put them in the letter position. The easiest way to move the guides is just like for the front and rear guides, we're just going to push the tray down to the bottom. And down at the bottom, you can see that there are separate slots for letter. I'm going to drop it into the letter slot. Put the screws back in. Put these covers on the front here. Okay, that's the conversion. Okay, first thing we're going to do is going to remove this lower U shaped cover. Also one in the back here. It's a total of four screw corner that allows us a little bit. Open the door slightly to grab a hold of the cover. Once you got it, I'm going to take it out and you got to lift up. 
what you're doing is clearing these tabs here, here, here. And they go into this lip on the chassis. Okay? Now, next thing we do is they get mounted like that. There's some hooks on them. So you have to put the hooks up first. That's what's holding them on there right now. Same thing in the rear. Okay. Next we're going to do is mount this big bracket. This bracket has this tab right here. It actually goes up underneath the engine. But before we can do that, we have to we have to take the rail and slip it in this way. See that pretty good? And there are four screws. What you do is take it in and try to find that tongue. And if you get it set properly. You won't be able to push the rail down to the ground. If you missed it, it'll let it fall down onto the ground. Okay, so I'm just. Now we're ready to put the cover back on. Now we're ready to put the cover back on. But before we do that, we have to knock out four locations one, two, three, four for the connection hardware and the electrical connection. Just turn it over. Go back here and pry. So now we have the four locations. Once again, we engage those tabs onto the chassis and we put our five screws back in. And of course the screw covers. Then we're ready to attach the HCI. to install the paper guide opening. I'm going to pry this one off. And the key, there's a couple little tabs. I don't know if you can see these, Michael. One, two, three. They're at the top of the paper path. Like that. Okay. Now attachment to the HCI. In order to do that, we line the two of them up, we bring it closer, we put the rail into the opening. It stops, we bring the bracket in, like that. the cable connection. There we go. Attach the cable. So then we just roll it in. Okay. Now we should reference the vertical alignment like we did on the other stuff. So what you would point out is you'd look at this alignment and you'd make sure that it's even, the vertical gap is even. And if not, you would adjust there's nothing on here, you would adjust the adjusters, these things, to hopefully adjust it 